Okay. Welcome everybody to the Tuesday night group call. Welcome to Heather Gorsuch, 2020 Shining Star, and her magnificent group and team. I'm going to say that as many times as I possibly can. Uh, uh, sh Heather's shaking her head, but I have been telling her for the last eight years that she's my shining star. And so now that she has the title, every time I talk to her, I have to say, well, good morning, 2020 shining star. And she's shining star last year I, with our other faves. Doesn't matter. It's okay. You win. So anyhow, Heather's group, we are so excited that you're joining us tonight. Actually, it's our pleasure to invite you, Heather, and your group to our call because you are the one who laid out the virtual party path for us. And so we appreciate you and all that you and your team and your group have done. Um, Alyssa Hancock has had a great, uh, you know, she's had a great hand in helping us and, and teaching us as well. Um, so this is kind of our payback tonight um, is having you guys, because what we want to do is now that some of the consultants in our group have been hosting, no, having hosts host virtual parties, we have some stories to share and some things that we can uh, tweak. And um, the really cool part about these virtual parties is, meh, maybe it's a cool part, maybe it's not, but each one of them is a little bit different. It depends on your host, it depends on your engagement, it depends on your guest's engagement. Every party is a little bit different. But what's really cool is we're gonna hear tonight about a party that didn't maybe start off so well and ended awesome. And so we all have, or many of us have some stories that we can share. I authentically want to tell you too that um, I had parties booked, but I was procrastinating actually having them because I was intimidated by the virtual party because I had never done them before. I had never had successful Facebook parties and I'm really good when I'm face to face with people, but when I am trying to be behind a computer screen and do something that's a little bit of uncharted territory for me, and it's not the 30 minute live that scared me, but it was just feeling like I had my virtual party perfect enough to present it. And as we all know, it doesn't have to be perfect in order to be powerful. So last week in a panic, I called Heather and I said, you got to talk me off the ledge. I'm kind of panicking. I have to have this party. I have to, um, I have to start. I'm spending a lot of time telling myself that I'm prepping. I'm getting stuff ready for the party. I'm doing things to get myself ready for the party. You just have to dive in and do the darn party. And so Heather kind of coached me and was like, listen, you know, there's not that many steps. There's not that many things that you need to do. You just need to do them. And she pushed me and now I'm midway through a party and I have one, two, three, four, five, seven more that I have asked people to host. And that's not even bookings off of the current party because we haven't technically closed out that party yet. So it just takes that push. And I hope that even for just one of the 73, 74 that are on tonight, that's incredible, um, that this is the push that you need because it doesn't have to be perfect and you don't have to know everything in order to make these virtual parties happen. And that's why our topic tonight is the virtual party. It's time to get good at them because this is the way we're going to be partying for some time. And quite frankly, I'm somebody who has built a business by doing events. And after seeing the success of these virtual parties with my output being very little, it's not a hundred dollar table fee, but it is some mailing, of some samples and some catalogs. And my return on my investment and my time is so much greater than me setting up a booth and spending five days selling to the public. So um, here's one other thing I wanna say about the virtual party. I was thinking about this tonight when I was driving. Back in the day when we were home partying, and we were home partying a lot, and we were basket partying a lot. We were also recruiting a lot. The recruiting and the sponsoring came a little bit easier because we were partying more. Well, we have become very reliant on social media and individual orders to build and maintain and sustain our businesses. The problem is that gives you PRV. Well, that's not the problem. The good thing is it gives you PRV, but the bad thing is you're not reaching enough people. 
So by getting back to the party model, I guarantee you can start building a team again, or you can add your first team member or you can grow your business. Because the only way to reach out and get people, because you have people that are around you every day that know that you do Sensi, and probably you've either offered the opportunity to them already, or they know enough that you do Sensi and they get it from you and they're happy getting it from you and they're not interested in doing the business. It is that second ring of people. It's the people that your people know that are going to be your joiners. Those are going to be your, you have to cast your net out a little farther. And the way you do that is by hosting and booking off those parties. So you see in Heather's background, she has the numbers four, two, six hanging, but there's also, there's all, okay, eight, one, three, you're missing some numbers. That means you booked some parties. Yes. So that is a booking strategy because the, your income for today is your sales, your income for tomorrow is your bookings, your income for a lifetime is you sponsoring and growing a team. We have to have bookings. That's how we continue to drum up new business. So on, like you'll hear with Tammy, who's going to share her, her virtual party experience, she has prospects for parties, prospects for because of the party structure that she's having. So we... I get asked many times, I don't know how to recruit. How do I recruit? How do I grow my team? How do I sponsor? And that comes from having a party and booking off of that party because you have this party, then you book two parties off of it. Now you have these two parties. And if you book two parties off of those, now you've got four parties and you are reaching so many more people than just selling individually. Okay, so that's why this virtual party is important. We all need sponsoring points if we want to earn the incentive trip. And so not only is it important for us to get our PRV during a pandemic where we can't have face-to-face -face house parties or shouldn't, but we also want to sponsor, grow our teams and have the high PRV. So that is why we are having a virtual party conversation again, because you have to get good at doing them. So before we start anything else, I want Tammy to tell us a little bit about um, her experience with her current party. Now, let me tell you how the, tonight's call is going to go. We're going to have some anecdotal sharing. So those consultants that have had a party experience, virtual party under their belt, their what worked, what didn't, um, what they want to share. Then we are going to show you or introduce to you a new way to party virtually, where if you're intimidated by that 30 minute live, we have the answer for you. And then last, I will sum up the call by telling you every resource that you need for these parties we have for you in a shared digital folder, which is awesome. A lot of that is thanks to Heather and her team and her group. And we've made some tweaks and some additions and we're really excited that we all have this folder to pull from. The only thing that you will not have is the little nugget that we're going to share with you here shortly, because the only person that can do that is you. All right, Tammy, tell us about the virtual party, how it started kind of, and how it ended, and give us the, give us the scoop. Okay, so like Melissa, I was worried about having the perfect party, and I kept putting it off. And so got it scheduled and the guidelines that Heather put together were wonderful. And that's kind of what I based it upon. Um, but I made some own errors on my, on my own time because um, the girl that was doing the party specifically wanted a Facebook live on a certain date. And I kind of got myself into a bind. I didn't back it up far enough. So I didn't give myself enough time for that because unlike the model that Heather shows where you do everything up front and then you tell them when the Facebook Live was, she designated the time and the date that she actually wanted it. And so I started off kind of um, a little on the wrong foot with it. So I had to catch up on it. And so it started off a little rough with when I sent out the Google Doc, um, I wasn't getting responses. 
nobody was responding whatsoever. Um, the host wasn't really involved and I was concerned trying to figure out how I was gonna get this um, going. And so I reached out to the host and I said, I really would like your help in trying to get your guests to, um, to fill up the Google Docs. And so she did, and um, the first one that did it, you know, I took the picture, sending it to the post office, and it kind of started that way. Well, come the day of the party, and anybody who knows me knows that I am technology challenged when it comes to Facebook Live and, and all of those different things to the point that I, I normally don't do it. Um, and the couple times that I did was kind of almost accidents. Um, um, that I didn't even realize that I was doing it. And so um, kind of a disaster. And so I was really nervous about the Facebook Live, but I kind of followed what I thought Heather was saying is um, do a group and then inside the group do an event. So it gives them the reminder of the time. Well, I did not realize that when that day came that I went to actually do the Facebook Live, I was doing it in the event, which wasn't visible to them. And so I reached out to the hostess when nobody showed up, kind of in a panic that I was in these new Facebook group rooms. Like, oh no, what am I going to do? Well, come to find out, the hostess, even though we talked about it, everything on the page said, you know, Facebook live party, you know, all personalized. She didn't realize we were doing a Facebook live. She just thought we were doing a Facebook party. And so I called Melissa in a panic and I said, oh my God, what do I do? Do I still do the Facebook live even if nobody shows up? And uh, she said, yeah, do it. Go ahead and do it. So right off the bat, everything was going a little bit different. And when it's going different than what you had expected, it's a little uneasy. But I did the Facebook live anyways. And to be honest, nobody showed up. So the numbers behind me, nobody pulled numbers. Um, and so I was like, okay, I've got to figure out how to do this. And so everything was on the fly. I did the Facebook live. And after I did the Facebook live, I started showing a couple posts, um, of simple things, not your warmers, but typical things that we had talked about, um, in the previous weeks, um, zoom call, like decor ideas, etc. I started posting some of these things and started getting interaction. And then on one of the posts, they said, how do you do, um, how do you use the wall diffuser? How does that work? And even though I did the Facebook Live and kind of showed everything, um, they didn't get the understanding of how the actual wall diffuser worked. And so I thought, okay, I'm gonna go live real quick and just do a quick video of how, you know, the wall diffuser works. And as soon as I did that video, nine orders, nine orders for the wall diffuser came in. And so it was kind of um, changing it up, but I would say the basis of the actual party that Heather put together was wonderful. But realize, I guess the point that I wanted to say is it may not go as planned and you have to improvise on the fly on how to do that. And, um, in the end, um, $725, we're still not 100% complete, three bookings. Um, and so it wasn't the model. I couldn't say that it was uh, picture perfect. It followed everything. I tried my best to do it. But when things didn't go as planned, I had to improvise on how to change it up and to make this party go. Um, and I think one of the things that really worked was just doing the quick live video of how things work really started the party going. And from there it moved. And like I said, I would consider it my first one a success, even though it didn't go the way that I thought. Um, but it did give me ideas of what to do in the future. And I think just like Melissa said, the hardest part is getting started. Just doing your first one even if it doesn't go as planned, it's still gonna work out because I think Heather has said this before, they don't know what the party is going to look like. So the only one that's hard on you is yourself. When it doesn't go the way that you expect it to go, the people don't know. And so even though in my eyes, it was starting off as a complete flop, um, it was salvaged and um, I learned a, a lot of great things, things I think we'll talk about a little bit later on tonight of different ways that you can actually do it. Um, but that was kind of my um, 
initial Facebook live party. Not how I wanted it to go, but it in, in the end ended up working out. And Tammy, because you didn't get to use the booking numbers behind you, tell everybody how you were able to book those three parties. So what was successful is once I was able to get the first person to fill out the Google Doc um, and they responded on how much they enjoyed it, then others started filling it out. And out of the um, 10 that ended up filling it out, um, four of them had stated that they were interested in either helping their host um, get a half price item or getting free uh, product themself, themselves. And so even though they couldn't pull these numbers, um, what I did is I reached out to them in private message and said, hey, um, I was looking at your form, realized that you're interested in helping the host get an additional half price item or hosting a party yourself. We have some great things coming up, um, not only in this new catalog, but starting on the 1st of September, um, you know, with our harvest catalog, and I'd love to get you booked. And they were like, book me. And so I reached out to them when the number system behind me didn't work out. And the easy part was they had already, I think, in a no threat environment, filled out that form and answered it, which opened the door for me to be able to go in and ask the question of, hey, when are we going to get you booked? Perfect. Thank you. Um, let's just, while you're, while you're talking, Tammy, why don't you show us what one of those quick little live product demo videos would look like and you are going go ahead go ahead hey guys just wanted to jump on here real quick to give you another um option for fragrance it's our wall diffuser i don't know if you've seen one of these before it's made of plastic it's great for high traffic areas like mud rooms, hallways areas where you don't want to get the wax filled or bumped into basically you take the top off you have one or two pods. Basically, there's a fan inside here. Place one or two in here, put the top back on, turn it on, and when it turns on, that fan blows the fragrance through the pods, dispersing it through your area. This one here is our original one that's $25. Doesn't come with a light, but we do have a new one for $30 that in addition to the fragrance, also um, illuminates light from the bottom. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Lisa Becker, would you tell us about fragrance flowers? Let me grab mine. I didn't know Tammy was going to display it. Oh, well. <laughs> was what? You're doing, you are doing. I know. Demo. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know if you've heard about our new fragrance flower, uh, Buttercup Bell, but she's an addition to our catalog this season. Uh, we have two designs. Um, sorry, I'm like stuck to the floor. Um, they're made out of natural material, so no two are alike. Even though we have two different, two different designs, no two will be the same. Um, let me see, I'm writing all this down. They come, <laughs> each flower comes in eight different fragrances. Um, there is a three ounce jar of the oil. So what you will do is take the cap off. There's a little plastic piece inside. And when I do my lives, I will have this off. Um, you take the plastic piece out, you stick this into the oil. Then the oil will absorb up the wick into the petals. You might not be able to see the oil anymore, but it's still there. The fragrance will come out of the petals and you'll be able to smell your flower. Um, you, it's best for small spaces. Like I have one in my bathroom because it requires no outlet, uh, which is awesome in the bathroom that doesn't have an outlet. So uh, on the desk, and we're gonna be doing these uh, homeschools. So I think every kid needs a flower at their desk. <laughs> and who wouldn't want a flower that lasts longer than a fresh one? Um, I've also seen people color the petals with Sharpies and then once the oil reaches the petals it bleeds into the flower and they are actually very very cool. Um, I haven't done it yet but I'm open to do um, a flower coloring party. If you want to do one let me know. Um, they're $16 or we have a bundle and save option for you. If you buy three you get them for $45 and you can mix and match and you can have whatever whatever fragrance you want and whatever um, design you want. So let's, let's get you a three pack of those and send them out as gifts too, because who doesn't want this? Awesome. Thank you. Uh, Joy, tell us about the premium diffuser. 
Okay. Hello, this is Joy Armstrong, your Sensi consultant, and I want to tell you today about the deluxe, or I'm sorry, the premium diffuser. The deluxe is behind it, but the premium diffuser, diffuser we're going to talk about today, this particular one is called Stargaze. I'm going to shut it off so we can see how the colors work. We're just going to talk about colors today. So we hit the button once and it comes on. It's on high mode. You can hit it a second time. It goes on low mode. You hit it a third time. It goes on flicker mode. You hit it a fourth time and it shuts off. Now, there's something even better about this diffuser. I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna hit it for one and a half second. It comes on in blue, but hang on for a second because this is gonna change. And it's gonna rotate between 16 colors. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the stargaze, it's, it's beautiful. All right, now you can hit it again. So say you want to uh, pick one color and stay on it. So you hit it again until you get to the color you want it to stay on. I happen to like green, so we'll leave it on green. Isn't that gorgeous? And Stargaze is $150. And the mist comes out through the top, but we're not talking about that today. So that's, that's it. Hope you enjoyed my video. <laughs> Thank you, Joy. You're welcome. Um... Rand, mini warmers. Unmute. Sorry, I'm just trying to unmute myself. <laughs> so I want to show you a few things about the mini warmer to help you decide if this is the warmer for you. So uh -huh. first off, the mini warmer is great for small spaces like your offices. Um, bathrooms, RVs, um, or basically anywhere where it can't get bumped. So when your morning, mini warmer comes to you, um, I can't see this, so I'm gonna have to hold it up. Um, it is packaged up with a base, a light bulb, and a little rubber stopper. Now, nine times out of 10, you're not gonna need this, so just put this aside for now. So what you need to do, take your base out and plug or screw in your light bulb, and then, you're gonna see every warmer or every base comes with the, um, the plug in a horizontal position. But what if your plug is a like vertical or maybe it's upside down or maybe even backwards? Well, guess what, we got you covered. So this little button right here is gonna allow you to twist this base. So you find the desired position of your plug and when you find that, you'll hear it click and then you know that it is it is locked in place. So once you do that, you're gonna take your, your warmer cover. There's little two little notches right here on your base and you're going to line it up with your warmer and then just give it a little twist. There you go. So now it's in place. Um, if you want a little extra stability, there is, a, there is a screw at the bottom, you can screw that in. Or like I say, if it really needs it, you can put this in, but I'm telling you, nine times out of 10, you're not gonna need that. So now, what if you want this warmer to be a tabletop warmer? So we've got it there, we've got you covered. So we've got bases. So all you do, you can purchase one of these bases. And again, it's exactly like your, your plug-in warmer. You just plug, you line up the notches, put it on, twist it, and there you go. It's all ready for you to go. Now, each of these mini warmers are $20. Um, you don't wanna put any more than two cubes into your warmer. Um, that's that's a, lot of, a, lot of, uh, a lot of wax, so <laughs> you wanna make sure that you don't put any more than that. Um, the best way to get your wax out of your warmers, because these are a little harder. I love our cotton cleaners, but they're a little bit big for our warmers. So what I like to do is either turn it off let it go um, Let it go for about two to three minutes. It's still soft and pliable, so you'll be able to get the wax out of that, or just throw in a, co a couple cotton balls and it will absorb the wax and you're ready to go with your next one. So if you have any questions, give me a, just let me know and I can answer some more if you need it. Thank you, Rand. Nicole, tell us about mini fan diffusers. I would love to. I was going to do this in my car because if it were laid out, I would, but it's a little, it's a little dark. 
So this is our mini fan diffuser. This is our perfect $15, um, perfect for gift giving instant fragrance system. It comes in three different colors, gray, blush, and mint. And this is our mint color. This uses a USB cord, it's fairly long. So anywhere you can plug in this cord, you can use it. It's instant fragrance, it doesn't charge. So whenever your item is um, giving it power, it's gonna be using the fan here to blow. And scent right through your pod. So you're just going to set your pod, little fragrance beads right in the top there. You really can put this any direction you'd like. However, little hack, I found putting it upside down, it's a little bit more solid in there. You can attach it to your computer. A lot of us are working from home these days. So you can attach it right to your laptop and have your personal fragrance right there with you. You can take it with you in your car. It's great for in your car, but on occasion it gets a little bumpy, right? Little hack. I take a hair tie or a rubber band and I clip it right on the top here. And then it doesn't matter if it falls, if it shakes, if you go around a wild turn, if your kids bump it or act crazy, guess what? It's not going anywhere. Um, it can fall off, but it'll probably unplug before the pod goes rolling under your seat. So this is a great gift for um, college, uh, for, for your students in college. It's a great gift for those people working from home. A lot of you moms might be homeschooling right now and all of a sudden your job changed. Lift your mood a little bit with um, your little mini fan diffuser. Or perhaps your kids have a favorite scent that might help calm them, keep them comfortable, make them happy, keep them content. Maybe they need one for their workspace too. So these are really great personal um, scent delivery systems. $15 for our mini fan. And then the packs of pods look like this. They come in a two pack. Of course, you can only use one at a time in the system. So you can save the other one in the pack for later. $10, 240 hours worth of scent, at least in this pouch right here. Each pot will give you at least 120 hours. So that's a whole lot of fragrance, right? You definitely need one of these, three different colors. Let me know if you have any questions. Awesome job. Okay, hey everybody, I am Melissa, and I am going to tell you about our flagship product, the Rex Warmers. Now I know from looking at many of your Google Docs that there is quite a few of you that have said that you have never used Scentsy before, so this demo is for you. Okay, we've got, can you see, that is one of our warmers, All right? And Norm, okay, so as you can see, I already have wax in this warmer. These are called cotton cleanups. You dip this into the melted wax and it will soak up all of the wax that is in your warmer. Now, if you don't have cotton cleanups, though we do sell them, you can use some cotton balls or bunch up a piece of paper towel. Don't stick your warmer dish in the freezer to get the wax out. That is an old school way of changing wax. We just dip something in the top, it soaks up all the wax. Now I'm gonna take my fragrance bar it has, obviously I'd be do, just so you know, I'd be doing this with my cell phone, not my computer camera, so this wouldn't be as weird as it is right now. Okay, back to the, back to the demo. Here is our uh, wax bars. There's eight cubes in a pack. I just pop the bar out of the package and you can see that it's broken into sections. I always like to put two, pa uh, two bars of wax into the top of my warmer. Um, we have, Many different warmers with many decor styles, many different price points. Some have light bulbs, some don't have light bulbs in case you don't want to have a light on in your bedroom when you're going to sleep, but you still want the fragrance. But this is our flagship product that we love. Uh, each cube of wax will last about 20 to 25 hours of on warming time, and I don't ever turn my warmers off. It is essentially as safe as leaving a lamp on. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay, so here's what's cool. Oh, Heather, did you want to, do you want to do any demos? Oh, crap. Um, what okay, no, that's, a, all right, so listen, that's okay. okay. Here's, although I want to put you on the spot so that I want you to do a product demo, but anyway. I mean, I can, I can click yeah. the ground. Come on, pick something. Let's go, let's see it. Oh, I want to pick a good one. Nataka, I'll answer that question in just a second. Let's do the laundry. For 100, Alex. Sorry, I'm 
Okay. Hey guys, have you done your laundry yet? Me either. It's piled up in the laundry room floor and I've got to get to it. That's my worst chore that I hate doing in my entire house. But I have found something that makes it a little bit more fun and I love having multiple options for my clothes to smell one way and my sheets and towels to smell another. So I don't know about you, if you're like me, but in the grocery store, I would walk up and down the aisle, I would unscrew the caps and I'm smelling everything, whether it's shampoo, conditioner, whether it's laundry soap, whatever, I'm unscrewing and smelling. Well, I have found the number one product that will keep your laundry smelling fantastic for like months. I would legit come into my bathroom, open my drawer, find my pajamas, two months later, I can still smell it on my clothes. Are you ready to know what it is? Okay. Well, first of all, the boring part, I would say, is just the one that gets the cleaner. This gets your clothes clean, super concentrated though, works great on stains, up to 50 loads of laundry. And here's the stuff, the magical stuff that makes it smell for months. It's our washer whiffs. So we have them in two different sizes. We have the really cute small size that I call it the let's be real size or let's get real size because who's really doing small loads of laundry? If I'm doing laundry, it's a huge load of laundry. I'm not washing one or two items. I'm doing the whole full load to get it over with. Add a couple of scoops into the drum with the clothes. And then you've got added fragrance in your dryer. Two discs, throw it in the dryer, 20 to 25 loads per disc. Just added fragrance in the dryer. And then we also carry our wonderful Scent Soft, which is your fabric softener if you choose to use that as well. My favorite bundle that I offer is basically a dollar a load. You're looking at this bundle for 50 bucks, or if you're ready to party, this is my most popular half price item for all my hostesses. They get this whole bundle, 25 bucks. Let's schedule yours today and get your laundry taken care of. Done. Everybody wants to go do laundry because of you. Me too, I love it. <laughs> I love this stuff. I love it. Okay, here's one of the questions came in and said, how many lives are you doing? Here is the beautiful part of this entire idea. You can do lives if you want to, or pre-record these demos and use them for every one of your virtual parties. Instead, uh, Logan, I love that face right now. That face was like, she pointed at the camera and paused like, so all you have to do is pick the products you want to showcase. I don't think it'll be effective demoing every single product we have that's too much. And if you were going to demo on the go or the unplugged category, then demo a few of the products. Say we have scent circles, travel tins, scent packs, room sprays, blah, blah, blah. My favorite is fill in the blank. And here's a couple ways that I use it. Don't, you don't want to inundate them with demos, but if you can keep these demos to no more than two minutes and you record them, so you're comfortable, right? Cause you're recording. You're like, Oh, I didn't like that. Let me re-record it. Once you get your demos recorded, you save them and you can use them for every one of your virtual parties. Because I'm going to tell you a two minute or one minute or 45 second demo is going to stretch a heck of a lot further than 10 flyers you could post on a page. Flyers require people to stop reading care. Demos in a TikTok world where people like everything in 15 to 60 second clips and bits. Think about when you scroll your newsfeed on Facebook, how many times do you automatically stop on the cookie decorating? And no matter what, you wanna scroll past it, but what do you do? You stop and watch them ice the cookie for crying out loud. You can't help it. And so if you are going and you're posting, let's just say six, that's how many we did tonight. We did six. The fragrance flower, wall fan diffuser, premium diffuser, mini warmers with the countertop, tabletop bases, mini fan diffuser, and wax and warmers. Now, I don't really like how I did my demo. Obviously, I would use my phone camera and have it be a little bit better, but I don't like really what I said. But here's the cool part. If I am filming my warmer, right, it's right here, 
this could be my cheat sheet of my things I want to say. All I have to do is post it on the cabinet or the wall above my warmer, and I can tell you about the wax and warmers, make sure I hit all of my talking points really quickly, record it, save it, use it for every virtual party. That is where the difference comes in. So Nataka's question was, how many lives are you doing per party? In my case, I'm not going to do them as lives. I'm going to record them ahead of time and reuse them. Now, what happens to the 30 minute live? Well, let me show you. My live, my Facebook live is no longer going to be sold as a 30 minute Facebook live party. My Facebook live will probably be 10 minutes long. And here's, this is off the cuff. This is how I, my style is, and this is kind of what it would be. You guys, thank you so much for participating in Pam's party this week. I appreciate you. Those of you that filled out the Google form and got your free samples and your scratch and sift stickers in the mail, I have loved seeing you post your excitement when your mail arrived. Cindy and Dana and Wendy, thank you so much for your pre-orders this week. I love that you are getting such amazing Cincy products. And Pam, I really appreciate you hosting for me. I love you as a Scentsy customer. And so it has been really fun getting to know what your friends like and what you like. And um, I am, so here's where me, I'm just going off the cuff, right? Um, right now your party is at $360. If we can collect $140 more, Pam, that bumps you to the next hostess reward where you will get 15% in free product plus free, um, free shipping and free half price items. So that is a huge benchmark we're gonna wanna hit for Pam. And if anybody has any questions about any of the products, you can type right now, we're live. So you have my attention, type your question right now and I can answer if there's a product that you wanna see me demo again or you want a little bit more information. If you wanna tell me what your favorite Scentsy product is, this is the time that we can just chat, talk, whatever. Okay, so you can make that live be, I, I'm, I'm off of consultant live mode. You can make that live be whatever you want it to be. It doesn't have to be about demoing because here's the thing, showing a ton of products on a live, it's to be, there's too much going on. And you're not really demoing, or and if you try to demo, you're taking up a ton of time demoing each product. So, because we know people have short attention spans and they like to click on things and everybody will click on a video if it's less than three minutes, let's say. This is a new way to capture people's attention passively, but yet still engage with them live actively. Does that make sense? So for anybody where the 30 minute live was holding you back, we have a solution to that. Now, this is also not saying there is anything wrong with the 30 minute live, that there is anything wrong with how you are currently doing a virtual party or how you anticipated doing a virtual party, because I'm here to tell you that every single virtual party you do is going to be different. And I think I said that at the beginning of the call, every one that you do is gonna be different. Every hostess has a different level of engagement and energy and excitement for Sensi products. Every guest has a different level of engagement, excitement, and energy, and how you receive that energy from the group is how you become the consultant for that group and how much you're on your A-game. So every, lot, or every virtual party is gonna be a little bit different, but what we want is for you to have as many tools and ideas as possible so that you are not roadblocking yourself any longer. I did, I roadblocked myself for a month. A month, that's silly. And now I'm so pumped about it in this recording the demos and having that done and being able to reuse them for every single virtual party I have coming up. But then intermixing with that, if I feel like going live because there's a lot of interaction on a page and they're really into it and I want to go live and be like, you guys, my whiff box just showed up. Let me unbox this for you right here and now. If, the, if, if my scent warmer of the month shows up and I want to go live and say, you guys, sneak preview. 
I'm getting a sneak preview of next month's scent and warmer of the month. And you know what? If you place an order, I will send you a sample of the new scent and warmer of the month that isn't, e or new scent of the month that isn't even out yet. So you can inject as much or as little into these in between your little demos as possible. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking so you stop hearing my voice. And I'm gonna turn it over to anybody else that wants to share any ideas, any things that you wanna talk about, any questions that you wanna ask. Thank you to our demo. I think Debbie had something. Okay. Can you hear me okay? New computer. Can you hear me? You can't hear me. We can hear you. You can hear me? Okay. Okay, good. I was like, oh shit, not again. Okay. Um, I had four Facebook parties going out a couple weeks ago. They were about two hundred dollars. You can't hear me, can you? Why does it keep freezing? We can hear you. I, okay. Okay, it just looked like you froze. So um, I did a battle of the hostesses, and I, I posted a post in each party saying that we should host at the highest sale by 8 p.m. the next day. We get a warmer the trace. And two of my parties shot up to $600 overnight from 200 So that really helps get the sales. I can't hear you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now I can. <laughs> All right. One second. Okay, Wendy. I have a problem when I do stuff that it goes in and out of focus and it gets fuzzy. What am I doing wrong? Lighting. Okay. It's lighting. Perfect. You Thank you. To, you need to be in, in the the closer you can be to natural daylight, the better. Okay. Um, I'm just seeing, okay, I like demo hacks of this idea. It eases some stress over live videos, all sorts of aha going on tonight. Record a bunch and rotate them. Yes, you could do that too. Record and reuse. Yes. You can also download a teleprompter that will show up on your phone while you're recording. That's cool. Um, Annette, I always, Annette's hand is up. All right. Give me one second, Annette. I always overthink filming demos and posting them in all the parties. If there, there are folks that have attending parties before for their friends, I'm afraid it's not as personal. I over, yes, you're overthinking it. So is the best way to conduct Facebook parties via event page or group page? Is one or more effective than the other? Heather, do you want to speak to that real quick? Oh, um, you did answer it, but for everybody yeah, else's reason. I, I'm in a pampered chef party right now. One of my customers invited me and she buys all the time for me. So of course I'm going to buy pampered chef from her party. The lady legit is posting 10 to 15 times a day. And I'm like, this is so annoying. So I have quickly began to realize this is why you don't get interaction. People do not want to read these stupid a double S S I said it I posts like, it's so stereotypical direct sales Facebook party. Like, I think you've got to start setting yourself out doing something different, not the norm. And they want to connect with you. When people like you, they will buy from you even more. And the only way for them to see you is to do these product demos or go live or whatever it may be, whatever you're comfortable with doing but there's no other substitute than yourself. And so you've got to just bite the bullet and you've got to do it, honestly. There's yep. no easy way around it. Well, and I absolutely love Heather's tip that she coupled in with that that says she creates a private group, as do I, a closed private group because when she flips the hostess, that group becomes the start of her VIP page. Yeah. That can, new consultants, VIP page. That's genius. Well, I'm not in this job to have parties. I don't want the PRV. My PRV is going to keep coming with all these bookings. My job is to flip every single one of these hosts because especially if that party is over 500 and I've got future bookings, I can tell her what her paycheck is going to be, that she's going to be certified by the end of the month and that her, I mean, she'll get her money back and then some. So my job is to flip, flip, flip. I don't care about any of the sales. And by flipping, you've got the $59 hostess kit to use to your advantage. And 
if you are if you have a five hundred dollar party and three bookings, you just set that hostess up for success right out of the gate. They won't say no. Um. Thank you, Heather. How many posts do y'all post a day for a party? It's going to depend. Like Heather said, less is tending to be more. Uh, access to the Google Doc. Uh, okay. All right, Annette, what were you going to say? Um, the other thing you can also do when I recorded mine is I changed my outfits. So I like picked the brightest time to do it. And I actually also bought these on Amazon. They're little lights that you put in your, you can put in your cube to add extra lights. My display is almost ready. And um, by the way, Melissa, they have the candlesticks and all the stands half off the seat. I went. Yeah, I went too. I went this evening and got lots of goodies. So, but the key thing is when you're doing the videos, keep them very, very short. Um, Try not to talk as fast. I have that problem. The other thing is, what is your brand? What are you known for? Are you known for pets? You love pets. Um, I'm known for, and everybody knows I love fun glasses and crazy headbands. So some of mine are going to be really silly. Like when you said, I'm going to show you the Swift box, you were so excited. That is the Melissa that we know, and your hostesses and your customers know that. So that's, you have to think of, find something that's your brand. What, what makes you different and sets you apart from other people? And you have to ask. And I watched Heather's video last night because I was helping a girl set up a Google form. And she goes, I've watched this video multiple times and I just love her. And she said, so when I was listening to it and we were setting, her, setting up her thing, I said, these questions are genius. And if you just make them all that they're required to be filled out, it leads you up to how would you like to help the hostess out? Would you like to help her earn more free and half price? And then turn it around because they reply to it. You have the answers. Then you can connect with each person in the party to say, hey, how do you want? And I'm thinking, I never want to do a home party again. I want to do it all online. But it's what's going to work for the time. And you see all these people being very successful. And like you, Melissa and Tammy, I got it in my head that my display needed to be freaking perfect. No, it doesn't. Yep. No. No, because your display doesn't even need, Tam, I saw your hand. Your display doesn't even need to be perfect, especially if you start doing these demos. You right. can go over to your display, though, and say, let me show you how this works, and pick it off your display so they can still see how beautiful it is. And, I mean, but let your personality shine through. You guys you know who you enjoy doing business with so be that way when you are doing these demos if you aren't excited about your product how can people be excited about your product if you are not thinking this is the greatest thing of all time and i love it and i can't wait to share it with you because you're going to absolutely love it if you don't feel that way they're not going to feel that way and it's not asking you to be somebody that you're not or be inauthentic or put on an act just be you. How do you feel about the product? And even if you don't like a particular product, that's when you're going to turn on the, the acting just a smidge and it's going to become your favorite product. And, you know, but still turn it on. We all loved watching Heather sell us all laundry. I mean, I that was the laundry in my house, actually. What? I don't even do the laundry in my house. See? Y'all don't even know that. You can sell it to all. Tammy, what were you going to say? I was going to say, I think it was Juanita that was ask, actually asking the question about, does it seem artificial if we were posting videos? If you really want to, like if you're afraid like you're doing too many parties and you're doing the same videos, with that Google Doc, you could change it to ask, what products are you not familiar with? Or do you know how to use X product? Because it would kind of guide you to maybe what you would add into the party based on their feedback. I mean, that Google Doc can be changed to, what you want it um, to be used for. Heather, did you want to shout out really quickly the link to your Google Doc how-to? And I have a Google Doc how-to because people... No. Okay. No, I found it. It just takes me a minute to figure it out. It was the one from SFR. It's my name, heathergorsuch.com forward slash Facebook sample party. That is a Dropbox that will have access to the 
um, link to where you can do the Google Doc and you can have actual templates that you're ready to use if you want. Um, it's all in there. That's the one from the SFR training. Well, she there just there she gave well. you the she just gave the whole shebang. I was just looking for your Google Doc. Yeah, Valerie. Answered I have that. a question. And then I let have me, a quick question. Oh, go ahead. I'll ask later. Just one second. Let me just tell everybody else. There is my how to on how to do a Google Doc, and it is on my YouTube channel, togetherwesent.com slash YouTube. And there is a video on there and it is how to create a Google Doc. And it actually, we created the one for virtual parties based on Heather's example. So if you watch that, it even tells you the questions we're asking. It walks you exactly through what the doc needs to look like. Okay, Nicole. I just had a quick question um, for you guys who have done this. And Heather, I actually sent you a message after I watched your video, but just disregard it because I'm asking it now. Oh, I didn't see so, it. No, it's, it's totally cool. I made a Google Doc for the second time, but I feel like I did a better job this time. And I, I modeled it after the ones I've seen you guys do and talk about. And this is the first party I'm incorporating it with, and I'm getting a lot of great response. And a lot of them have not ever used or heard of Sensi. Um, but I did have a couple who talked about um, they would be interested. So it's the perfect opportunity to talk about the opportunity. But I'm just curious, like when in the sample pack, I sent those people like a joint brochure and like information because obviously they're interested. But like, when do you guys find is helpful or the best time to really talk with them specifically about it? Do you message them privately? Do you um, wait to kind of see like if they host the party and go about it that way and file it for later or what works best? Um, I wait till the party's done and then I reach out. I, a, I'm trying to get them to book their own party first. And if they put yes on the Google Doc that they were interested in the opportunity or making extra money, nine times out of 10, I'd say, you know what? I don't want you to jump in just yet. Let's get a party set up for you. If you will follow my inviting process, we'll do the sample packs exactly how we did for so-and-so's party. I would much rather get a party set up where you can get all of your sales in, get your bookings ready to rock and roll, and then you can decide. And if you decide it's not a good fit, worst case scenario, I've got you hooked up with some free and half price. So okay. I'm, I'm putting my toe in the water, but I'm taking the pressure off of sign the dotted line but I really want that opportunity to set up a $500 plus party, three bookings, where it is, heck yes, I'm joining and getting her booking. So every focus that I do on parties is A, the inviting process is super important. This takes planning. It is not wham, bam, thank you, man, I'm gonna do a party this quick. Like you need to plan this and you need to have something in play. Inviting is super important. Communication with your host is super important. The Google Doc is crucial. It's your easy, yep. let's take the awkwardness out of following up. You're giving a reason to follow up. What do you have in place that you're going to get bookings? You have to have something in place. If you don't know how you are getting this party so perfect where they can't say no, you've got to lay out those, those things. How are you gonna get the right guest attending? Who is gonna be purchasing? How am I connecting with them? How am I gonna get bookings? And how am I pitching the opportunity to get her to flip? Well, let and, me tell and you. And I do have all. Oh, Sorry, go ahead. go ahead, Nicole. No, I was just gonna say, I have all those things in place so far. I was just trying to, in my head, like this is different than what I normally do. And I think it's important for me to try something different than normal because anytime you're doing that, you're growing and you're learning and evolving. Um, and so I think it's really important to do that and kind of push the envelope a little bit. But normally I would like have joined conversations with people in different ways. And so I'm like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna like put a nail in a coffin by not striking at the most want, opportune uh, time. And so I wasn't quite sure what, you know, what your success was with that in, when and how you broach the subject. So. I think you just feel it out, girl. If you feel somebody's excited, like the girls party I just did, Christian, who Melissa was in, watched it, because she was uncomfortable and I, she just, please add me to this, let me, she was uncomfortable, I added Christians. A girl I've never met booked a number off my wall, 
messaged me. I said, hey, I'm so excited. I got your group set up. She goes, well, I've actually been thinking about joining. So now we're doing her launch. I didn't have a clue. So when you feel how they're hot, you act. But mm -hmm. if it's like weird, or you're like, I don't know what to say, reference back with the info you have. You've got the, the clues and the, you're, you're basically like an investigator. You've got all the DNA and the clues on the, on the Google form. And you can reference that back and you're speaking their language where it's not weird. Gotcha. There's no right or wrong way. Just, just say yeah. something. Yeah. So two, two last things. One, what I'm loving about the Google Doc is... I was even getting a little lax on filling out all of the information for my customers on the order form when I would take an individual order. I may grab their email address and their cell phone, but may, or maybe their mail, whatever. I love that the Google Doc is collecting this information for me. It is a required question for you to give me your cell phone number, your email address, and your mailing address. Because if you want to receive the sample pack with freebies and sent samples, you have to give me your mailing address. So now I am data collecting much better and a little bit more passively than I was before. Second thing, I have their email address that I am instantly transferring over to my workstation so that they get added to my email newsletter that Sensi sends out for us every single month. That is key. If you guys are not putting email addresses into the workstation and adding them as news newsletter subscribers, you're missing an opportunity. We are going to have an upcoming call on the newsletter, how to use it, how to use it to your benefit, how to customize it, and how to use the analytics behind it to find out what people are actually clicking on on your website. So that's, that's something that's upcoming. Lastly, Heather Rand, I want to create within our own individual groups a virtual party leaderboard. I want to I want to start tallying how many bookings we as a group are getting. I don't care about what I mean, of course I care. I hope it's a huge party for you, but it's not about the dollar amount. I want to put my 7 up on a board and add your 3 and your 2 and your 4. I want to create like a massive cheerleader board of all of us that are booking these virtual parties. What do you think? Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Okay. So watch for a post for you to share your virtual party update so that we can get a, a number going. Because I think that we can be huge and uh, we can nail this down and be rock stars through the rest of the season with this virtual party. Cool? Thank you so much for getting on tonight. I am so excited that we were able to share this information with 95 of you. That doesn't include all of the people that are gonna benefit from the recording. I appreciate those of you that demoed and shared with us. And thank you, Heather, for the information and for giving us the push that we needed. You guys have a fantastic week. Talk to you soon.